And in this video, we're going to try out the new liquify tool in Clip Studio Paint. If you're an artist, you're probably stuck between using Photoshop, uh, Clip Studio, Procreate, Krita maybe, uh, some other program, MS Paint for the real classy individuals, but I've got fucking fantastic news for you because to all my fellow Clip Studio users, the winter update is now out and I know I think you might have seen it already and I might have titled the video this already but they've added liquify they they, they did it they did it <laughs> and this is the only reason along with a few other reasons why I still have Photoshop installed on my computer it's because I like to export my files out of Clip Studio into a PNG into Photoshop so that I could liquify it and export it back into Clip Studio because liquify is such a powerful tool and they added liquify to Clip Studio and we're gonna try that out today okay I just got Clip Studio updated launched uh, this is a little comic I'm working on they say the liquify feature is under the blend options and there it is okay oh this is an exciting moment <laughs> they've got the brush slice okay it's a little bit different than Photoshop it seems we've got the generic push um, expand pinch push left and push right I've never seen those before uh, and the rotates obviously and let's try it out I'm not too happy with this character's head right now so let's do some oh my god small adjustments oh that's so good finally wait that's that's so smooth this is this feels so much smoother than the Photoshop one. Okay, let's see. There's the set expand option where let's say the hand here is a little bit too small for my taste. I could just select that layer and Oh my god, that's so good. <laughs> the pinch option where we can of course pinch things down a little bit. And of course, we've got the rotate option to rotate things around. That's so good. I feel like the difference between the Clip Studio Liquify and the Photoshop Liquify is that the Clip Studio Liquify is is so much smoother. It, it feels a lot more smoother than the Photoshop one for some reason. Um, I'm not entirely sure why as to why it is. It feels a lot faster too than the Photoshop Liquify. The only downside as of right now from like just 30 seconds of using it I feel like the Photoshop one you can toggle the previews on and off and that's very important as you know it's it's nice to see the difference uh, before and after you've edited something of course there's other ways to do about it in clip studio such as for example we could duplicate the layer um, and then we could turn off the bottom layer and then we can make our for example edits this is just really okay let's uh our edits and then we could like turn it on and off like that and maybe like throw in a white layer underneath here and then we could toggle it on and off like that it's a little bit uh it's a little bit more of a hassle but it's so much better than exporting it out for photoshop and then moving it back into clip studio paint man this is a game changing feature in my opinion this is probably going to i obviously it's not going to kill photoshop but it puts it so much higher on my recommended software for beginners like immediately photoshop is industry standard right but like Clip Studio Paint is so powerful now with this feature and my workflow is going to be so much easier with it. And obviously there's some other updates such as enhanced 3D tools where they've added some, you know, better 3D primitives. Uh, that's that's interesting. Easy import fonts. Uh, that's also cool. Um, you can now import gradient files from Photoshop, which is really cool. We've got uh, improved saving progress, really neat stuff. Um, but Honestly, I think the most important update is still Liquify. This is a huge update for Clip Studio Paint. Anyways, this is N from the Ensphere. Thanks for listening to me ramble. I'm going to get back to my finals. See you when I'm bored again. Bye bye.